All right, so uh, just a quick little video today from the GCM garage. Uh, I wanted to give you a chance to have a look at our prototype 3D printing that we're working on here. Uh, this is uh, part of the Twin Hammers interior kit that we're doing. And uh, you can see on the dash panel here, we've got the, the GCM Racing logo on there. And uh, this, these are not painted, by the way. These are printed parts, and they come out with this kind of gloss and finish. There we go. So there's the panel and uh, you can see we've got the dash on here and there's the hole cut off here so that you've got the the floor this covers over the servo the servo sits right about here and uh, there's actually room between the floor and the transmission so uh, or the, the uh, belly pan it sits off the belly pan a little bit and uh, there's a seat back here if you put a wraith seat in here it fits perfect so you got lots of space on the side you can fit the wraith seat in it sits right up at the back and uh, there's a little slot in the in the dash here for you to drop in a wheel or steering wheel or whatever and then you can backlight all your gauges and get it going. Yeah so here's the uh, test pig now with the GCM front suspension on, uh, mods and the truss and everything on it and uh, this one's been updated with a, five, a 550 motor and a Mamba Max Pro uh, speed control uh, some pit bulls a few other odds and sods and I uh, just wanted we dropped the interior in with the same way just by stretching the cage and drop it in and uh, I want to show you there there's lots of room for the race seat we moved the uh, panel that was on the f the front of the interior here we moved it to the floor so uh, let me take off all the accessories here so if we move that panel to the floor then it sits in behind the servo you can see there's lots of room there and that opens up all this foot space here so you can actually have a full body figure with the, all of his feet and everything out underneath the dash so uh, we're going to have a look at the rest of the uh, hammer parts here. So up in the nose, you can see uh, we just have an aluminum uh, hood cover on here. And it's hinged at the back. The uh, cross brace that went across here between the two towers has been snipped off because we're uh, using this for a hinge now. So that just opens up. There's a, the Reedy uh, two-cell shorty is in the front here. Uh, sits between the towers and we're using the axial shocks up front now. So we've got the true buggy look going on. Um, this, of course, uh, being the prototype, we're going to change a couple of things. We're going to add uh, a little bit of support on the shock mounts. We're going to change the way the winch is mounted up in the front. Uh, put a little bit different setup right about here. And then uh, you can see that the shorty pack has the, uh, it's a top post battery, right? So the interior actually has a nice, a nice round on it here, which gives you room for a short 90 degree plug. You can easily do that there. And uh, I want to show you... Uh, the space we've got here for the interior, obviously there's a big hole here for that, and uh, show off the truss in the back. So that's using the stock linkage in the back there too, and lots of travel. And so uh, that's our uh, prototype so far with the hammer, and uh, as we continue to get some new stuff, we'll give you a progress update.